Number 15. Jump Scare This one made me do a double take. Redditor 17118033 shares this video in which a young woman has a jump scare, and when you look closer, it gets even scarier. Look closely. It's hard to see what made her jump, but clearly she felt something touch her. Here's a closer look. It seriously looks like there's a tiny hand on her shoulder. Many in the comments think the hand is edited in or that it's a prank video. Others think the video is too grainy to know either way. According to the Redditor, Jimena herself said she felt something touch her. I'm with those who think the footage is too grainy when zoomed in to tell whether it's a hand or just her earrings. Number 14. Creeping in the shadows. Redditor failed talk show host has been hearing noises in the kitchen for years, and now they've captured this. In the comments, a Redditor by the name of WXMike94 has enhanced the footage. Some in the comments think it's an intruder, others a ghost, but the Redditor isn't taking any chances. I agree with their decision to leave. It's not worth it at all. Number 13. Security Officer vs. Ghost Security is supposed to guard against threats, but what happens if that threat is from another realm? Shared by YouTube channel The Bottom Line, this video of a paranormal encounter is currently trending in the Hindi-speaking YouTube community. Its original source is the YouTube channel for Revista Samana. Mayor Juan Manuel Rios reports that a security guard from the mayor's office was ambushed by a ghost, and the fallout was captured on security camera. Let's take a look at the footage and judge for ourselves. As you can see, at the beginning of the clip, it looks like the security guard is thrown forward by something. A blinding bright light obscures the scene. After slamming into the wall and being knocked to the floor, the guard continues to look like he's fighting back against an invisible force. The clip breaks here, and where it picks up, the force is fighting with him again. Those in the comments familiar with the area say ghostly activity is certainly possible here. Others seem to think the security guard was either intoxicated or having a fit of some kind. The blinding light, they say, is his flashlight.
So I have two questions. What of the paranormal force and what of the bright light? Well, I tend to agree that the light is likely from his flashlight. I don't find the man's movements to be that of someone in an intoxicated state or having a fit. It appears to me he was slung forward and into the wall by a strong force somehow invisible to us. But the light from the hallway makes it hard to tell if maybe he just tripped over his feet. I mean, I've done that before. Still, that wouldn't explain all of the bizarre fighting that occurs on the ground. I'm stumped with this one, but I'm leaning paranormal. What do you guys think? Number 12 statue moving submitted to the chills narrator subreddit by paranormal nomad this redditor wrote was it moving during my live stream this statue in the cemetery caught me off guard and when i got a good look at it i noticed it looked like its arm was moving ever so slightly on the left can you see it or am i just tripping let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about okay are my eyes playing tricks on me I sworn I saw the arm go up. Whoa, wait, no way. Did anybody, wait, wait. The arm, right there. Am I just tripping? What do you think? Did you see this statue move? Let me know in the comments. Number 11. Priory House YouTube team Ouija Brothers is investigating the Norton Priory Museum in England, which is a former 12th century Augustinian Abbey. Would you dare enter? The guys soon hear a strange sound. That was a weird noise. What was it? That was a weird noise. What was it? That doesn't sound human to me, but it could just be old home noises. When the team makes a request for more noise, the spirits deliver. Could you make a noise for us? So that was a loud noise over there, weren't it? Yeah. Cupboard. It really was, and there's a cupboard down there. <laughs> they ask again for a loud noise, and again they get a response. That sounds like a man saying, oh, is it the spirits of Norton Priory? I think this last communication could be a monastic chant, but instead of putting me at peace, it makes me feel unnerved. Number 10. Morse code ghost. Does anyone here know Morse code? Redditor Sober Sweet Potato shares this video captured on security camera at around 1 a.m. at their boss's office in downtown Manhattan. Watch the bottom left footage. To top it off, the restaurant they work in is very old with a rich history and with plenty of paranormal happenings to suggest that this code may be coming from the beyond. Some in the comments think it's an electrical short or a malfunctioning UV light on the camera itself. Others suggest it's signing red rum. It does look like the camera light might simply be readjusting abnormally to me, but I'd prefer if this was an SOS from the ghost that haunts the basement. Number 9. Spirit wants a pint. Two blokes were having a beer at the Jamaica Inn in Cornwall when something unexpected happened. YouTube channel The Official Jamaica Inn Paranormal Team captured the event on video. Here's the security footage. Keep an eye on the guys in the back right booth.
After the guy on the right places his pint on the table, his friend does too, and then somehow the first dude's pint falls to the floor. No one touched the glass, it slid right off the table, but was it paranormal? YouTuber the Julio G gives us a simple equation. While I tend to agree that science could explain this, another YouTuber, Darkvale Inv, claims to have been there when this happened and says the table wasn't wet and there was no condensation. So, who to believe? I'm going with a thirsty ghost on this one. Number 8. Aradal Lunatic Asylum Amy and Jared from YouTube channel Amy's Crypt have visited plenty of haunted historical sites, but few have set Amy off like this one. Australia's haunted Aradal Lunatic Asylum made the seasoned paranormal investigator cry within the first 10 minutes of visiting. Come back. I've already had a meltdown. <laughs> <laughs> Amy can't explain it, but this place affects her emotionally. Um, I don't know why I'm emotional. We just walked into this building. I feel very frazzled. I'm going to try and keep this together for you guys. Maybe it's because they're not alone. and whatever's with them is getting nearer. You heard that, surely? Yes. That was like a door in the distance or something. Something down there for sure. What is lurking near them at the lunatic asylum? Whatever it is, there's clearly a sad energy that looms over this place. Number 7. Haunted Hotel While quarantined at an overseas hotel for a week, this salesman recorded his bizarre experience and shared it to YouTube channel Fourth Wall. The first activity happens as the salesman is FaceTiming with a friend. He hears a knock on the door. It happens again. This time he brings his camera. Later that week, the man is sleeping when someone is at his door again, but it's not just knocking this time. Take note of the closet and bathroom doors. Did you see it? As he approaches the front door, the closet and bathroom doors are closed. But when he turns back around, this happens. Did someone walk right through him and enter his room? Or was it already in there with him? There's definitely something paranormal going on in this hotel. And if you want to see more, check out the YouTube channel Fourth Wall. All of their scary videos have English subtitles. Number 6. The Ritual YouTuber Han Kardashlar is about to come across one of the creepiest scenes he's ever experienced as a ghost hunter. Don't open the door. Dur. Oğlum, duman <coughs> Hello? For some reason, they're being shut out of the ritual, and a moment later, when they open the door again, this happens. Come on, 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 come on,
what is going on here? What type of ritual is this? Should they fear it? I think the cameraman got it right. I wouldn't get any nearer to this dark magic or it'll soon get under your skin. Number 5. Cursed Apartment Max from YouTube channel Paranormal Point is spending a night in this cursed apartment. Will he end up cursed too? As he's taking a reading on the energy using a K2 meter, this happens. Are our eyes playing tricks on us? Maybe, but our ears sure aren't. I nearly jumped out of my skin there. While the creeping man looks superimposed to me, the rest successfully makes my hair stand on end. Number 4. SCI Crescent Prison YouTube team Charm City Paranormal are investigating the SCI Crescent Prison in the Allegheny Mountains in Pennsylvania. The team soon hears something down a dark corridor. But it's this creepy footage that's leaving me with goosebumps. Here's a closer look. Now, in most cases, I would just write this off as dust. A ghostly face peers out at them. Although it could be a tricky blend of light and reflection, I think this one is a ghost. It's just a gut feeling I have. Number three. The Next Conjuring House While many paranormal teams have visited the actual Conjuring House, YouTube channel Urban Ghosts Urban Exploration believes this haunted home is the next one. As the team is performing the Estes method, it hits too close to home. Who are you attached to? Are you attached to the land? Bailey. What? What? My last name. With plans to perform a second Estes method, the team is taking a break when this happens. You can feel the floor even. Yeah. Like somebody's walking around in there. Is there somebody in there? Can you say something? Oh, oh, oh I agree. That would be my cue to leave. I think these guys are right. This may be the next conjuring house in the making. Number two. Dorchester Prison YouTube team Most Haunted Official investigates Dorchester Prison and as they peer down one hallway, they hear something. Hello? Hello? What was that? Sounds like a child's voice to me. Later, when Carl and Stuart reunite, they realize they're not alone. Yeah, right, yeah, I understand that. What the f Whoa. was that? Whoa, what was it? Right, that was a f door. Is there a draft in here? Or was that the child ghost? Up to some shenanigans. Of course, we can't be sure. But if I had to guess, I'd say they're about to go on lockdown in this prison. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. Unidentified flying object or not. Is this an unidentified flying object?
YouTuber Gankwa P and his team are investigating this area when they capture a flying object in the sky. They consider that it might be a drone, but then the thing disappears, so we'll never find out. I get the sense that it's an unidentified flying object that went into stealth mode, and I don't know about you, but that thought makes me shudder in fear. Sometimes you're just in the right place at the right time. These are 30 scary videos recorded by accident. 